Good morning, everybody. Happy Easter weekend. I got up really early to do this plan with me. Um, I'm hoping I can get this done before my kids wake up. So my son does not have school today. And I figured I should probably film this as early as I can. So I have the time to edit it later on today. Um, kids being home, you guys know what it's like. It is crazy. So I have my beautiful golden aspen binder. I am loving her. She is so gorgeous. I took her to Red Deer with me last weekend and like it hasn't this it hasn't even gotten like scratched or anything. So I'm really happy. Um it feels so compact. It feels a lot smaller um than even like say my vintage auroras because it just it zips up. Everything is in there. The zipper still kind of worries me, but you know what? for the first and like it might be the last zipper binder I can't really say that like I might buy more zipper binders in the future it just depends depends how much I like them but um this one I'm I'm loving right now it's so beautiful so these are the washi tapes I took out today I'm still going to stick with my yellow theme because I'm just feeling yellow today <laughs> um I also have my sticker book by Planners Anonymous and Craftsmith and I'm still going to stick to the colors at the back. So I do have like a few of these, like this one here left anyway. So I'll probably use that up. And just to basically um, make it as, kind of use up my stickers, I guess. Like I feel bad using these stickers because I can't find them anymore. But you guys, I have so many, so many stickers. The other thing I'm going to try to use today is some of mine as well. So I've got my stickers and then I also had to use this new one because, um, so what I do, like when I have orders and like, I don't know what's been going on, but my Cricut machine hasn't been printing. Um, it hasn't been centered when it prints or sorry, when it cuts and I've already aligned it. So I'm wondering if I should try aligning it again. Like you have to go through this whole process of like cutting and examining the lines, et cetera, et cetera. So I might try doing that again because it's printing more or cutting more to the left than it is to the right. So anyway, so any of the ones that don't work out that well, I keep for myself. So right now I have a whole bunch of these um, plant care stickers, which will be coming up soon. Um, personally, like I know a lot of people start their planting. I think um, a friend of mine who really loves to plant vegetables and stuff, she already started I think she did it like last month, which is crazy to me. Um, I don't have the room in my house to start any indoor planting, um, even in those little like seeding cups. Um, the only place I have is my table and I have two dogs who love to get into crap and my daughter who also loves to get into stuff. So I, this year I'm not gonna plant any vegetables. It's just too much work and you guys know how much work I have. I always talk about it. I'm actually currently writing a blog on my website and on Medium. Um, it probably won't be posted. I think it's like May 30th, but anyway, it's to talk about how I'm successful at my business, but I also list all of the responsibilities and duties that I am um, fully responsible for because I, I am the sole proprietor of my business. So. I have a lot going on, a lot of responsibilities and obligations, and, you know, I just don't have the time. But I will be doing flowers, but we still, like, for me personally, I always wait. It's like the golden rule of thumb to wait until after May long weekend, which is Victoria Day weekend here in Canada. And um, because in the past, I've planted early and everything died because we have frost up until that weekend, believe it or not. And sometimes it even snows in May. Um, we actually got snow today. Okay, so let's, without further ado, open my planner. I left my planner zipped up so you guys could hear what it sounded like when I unzipped it. There we go. <laughs> All right, so I haven't changed the front of my planner much. Um, I think this is that as a prescription. I'll keep that in there because I don't have room in the back right now. And then this is all the work we got done on my vehicle and my husband's car. So I'm going to throw this out. I have my baby Ollie clips in here. I do have this like larger one at the back, but 
what I've been noticing, unless I'm using it, it keeps getting stuck, like it, my pen pushes into it. So I'm gonna have to move it for now. Just put it up here for now, just to keep it out of the way. Okay, so my first step is to go to my task card, which I still keep under my routine tab in my planner. So I do have certain tabs in my planner on the side and I do have certain ones on top. And to be honest guys, I think I had this question once, like how do you determine what tabs go on top and what tabs go on the side? And honestly, it really is your own preference. I like to do like main, um, I guess sections, like my, um, my life categories. I've talked about that before. I picked that term up from um, Elena from the Organized Money. But I like to do my major life categories on the side, right? So I've got goals, schedule, which is obviously an important part of my role as like businesswoman and family, like mother, I guess. Um, home, school, meals, chores, health, finance, reading, business, personal, and lists. And like, I guess lists aren't really, like, that could go at the top as well. But I only had, you, you also have to con consider, like, what type of tabs you're getting. So I have the six on the side. So I did double because I have so many categories. So I have 12 side categories. And then I only have four on top. I do have an extra four. But then you also have to consider how big or thick you want your planner. Like, how chunky she is, right? So sometimes... Like, especially in the zipper binder, you might not want to use top tabs because the zipper binder might, like, bend them. Um, I haven't found that yet with these tabs or with this binder, so I'm lucky in that regard. But um, on the top, I keep monthly, weekly. Normally, I would keep daily, but I do have my progressive or my, like, this plastic protector for the uh, compass card. So I use that as my daily page finder. And then routines and notes. And then I do have various other tabs here, but this is just to like bring me to certain areas of my planner that I know what they are. So that's kind of what I do there. And then I haven't used this over overview yet. This is from Cloth and Paper I got in the last subscription box, I think the March one. That was my last one, which makes me so sad because um, I like getting, well, everybody likes getting stuff in the mail, okay, you guys? <laughs> like, it, it's nice to receive presents, right? But I had to cut back on our subscription services and our entertainment, like our TV stuff, wasn't one of them. And then I also, this month actually, I had to purchase Canva again. So I do pay for a yearly subscription service for that because I use it so much. And then also I had to pay for our Microsoft Office suite as well because uh, we use Word and I use Excel a lot. So we do need to get that. So with that being said, um, let's go to my routine tab. Um, today might be a longer video because I want to explain things more thoroughly just in case you guys um, want to hear about that stuff. And eventually I want to do, I'm going to start doing planner flip throughs. I haven't really done that. Um, I was actually watching um, Markita from At Home with Kita. And she says she does planner flip throughs at least quarterly because she changes her planner so often. So I wouldn't mind starting to do that just to show you guys how I've changed my planner or what new things I've added. Because, you know, every now and then we'll go pick up stuff from new Etsy shops or um, different places. So I wouldn't mind sharing that with you guys. If that is something you are interested, let me know in the comments. All right. So the first task on my weekly task card is to review my goals. So um, this is where I've been keeping my goals on um, my compass card. And honestly, you guys, I probably didn't do anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't finish everything on here. So I kept my duplicate one on the back. So all I have to do is break it apart. So let's go through this. I'm going to use my pen to cross it off or highlight, I guess. So water, I did not do. Again, it's one of those things. If I keep on it, I, I keep on it. And if I don't, I don't. It's just one of those things. So unfortunately, water didn't happen. Shadow work, I did. Journaling, I did. And tarot, I did. Um, I did not talk to my friend at all. Um... As a mom playing with kids, I do 
do this every day. I just wanted to put it on there as a reminder so we can cross it off. Uh, creator, draw my bullet journal spread for May. So I did not do that. And I looked at my schedule and I realized, like, I kind of started to panic actually, because okay, I'm going to zoom you guys in for this part. I kind of started to panic because um, I realized that next week on Friday is when I want to post my bullet journal. And I haven't even thought about what I'm going to do. I haven't thought about when I'm going to film it. And now my husband is gone and I have to film it when he's gone. <clears throat> and all this week, basically this week, my son had three days of school and next week he has three days of school because of this Easter long weekend. So now I have to struggle to find the time to not only figure out what I'm going to draw, but I have to draw it and then I have to film it and then edit it, of course, and then do all the rest, like the posting. And posting and like doing all the, the background work sounds easy enough, but um, a lot of people say that when you do a thumbnail for your videos, it should actually take sometimes longer than the video itself. Um, I personally haven't found that because um, I have a process, like my process changes, but um, when I do an overlay or if I do something on my iPad, it doesn't take that long because I already have stuff in place to like make it easier for me. I, I use systems. <laughs> I'm going to write a blog on that and, and write about all the systems I use to uh, make life easier for myself, especially in business. But for now, um, yeah, I, I need to get my, I need to get a hold of that. And I need to work on my bullet journal spread. So did not do this so far. Uh, brainstorm goals. I did not do that either. And I'm not really sure what I mean by that. I think I'm talking about next month's goals. I haven't even thought about that either, which today being the middle of the month, it's already April 15th. I have to do that as well. So I'm going to write down some notes, figure out what I need to do for May and just do it. Blogs, I actually, I'm going to cross this off and I'm also going to cross off stickers. Stickers, I did two sheets. Um, I think last week I did budgeting stuff. So I did budget script. I did dollar signs in different colors. And then this week I did grocery cart icons. So I did pastel, rainbow, rainbow, and then black. And then I also did happy meal. So that was one of my Instagram reels on there. And I think it was kind of cute. I like to show, like, I know not many people seem to be interested in that, but I do like to show how I create my stickers and how I design on Procreate. And it was all self-taught. Like, I basically just watched YouTube videos in order to use Procreate properly. And it's one of the best. I'm so glad I purchased that app. Okay. Um, blogs, I am still working. <laughs> but mind you, this goes until Sunday, right? So today is only the 15th when I'm filming this. I have until Sunday to get this stuff done. So blogs, I did the first one. I finished it on Wednesday and I did partially the second one. And then I also had time to work on it yesterday as well. So I really do need to finish that today. Um, I made some notes for myself. They're just here in this little sticky. And so I'm going to try to finish that today. Now makeup videos, I probably need to do another makeup video as well. So I have one posted for this Monday, but I have like this week and next week to do another video and you guys oh god i ordered i ordered some more stuff from sephora and i missed the sale i have never done this in my life but i used like sephora for canada now has this thing called karna i think it's called where you can place interest-free payments over like kind of like after pay i guess if you're in the states and so I ended up doing that. So my payments were cheaper. They come out every two weeks, which is way better. Um, and I ordered like a whole bunch of new makeup. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys. Oh, so I'm going to wait for that to come in. It's shipped. So hopefully I get it this week coming up. And when I do, I'm going to film a video of all of the new products. Like I'm going to put everything together. I don't know if I'll do swatches because I did order a few new palettes. But um, if I don't do swatches... I'll just like show the makeup but if you guys are interested in that I'll have that video up not this Monday but the next Monday I think um but yeah so I, I did get some new makeup and I'm really excited to try it out and like um if you guys are into makeup I watched the, well 
I watched Angela Bright for the longest time. I do love her eyeshadow looks and I love how she applies makeup, but I've also started watching this other girl named Allie Gleans and um, I also really love her channel as well. Um, she just does makeup like all day long every day so it's awesome okay so plan with me we're doing right now so oops i should check it off sorry budget i did of course i did not do this <laughs> i don't know if i should even continue adding it to my list but i do want to change it just to update it I'm, that's kind of my goal every year is to update my channel art and change things up and do new intros just to keep things interesting right like it who wants the same old intro year after year after year so uh, double check my finance stuff. So for a while, it wasn't being transported into Wave. And I only use that for my business side of things, not for my personal. But um, for a while, it wasn't transporting in. So I had to fix it. I did fix it. Um, it was just a matter of updating my information. And so it's working again, thank goodness. But there's the one thing that I paid for. Well, I guess Microsoft Office as well. So those two are paid from our other accounts instead of my business account. So I need to add those in. So, um, but otherwise, I, I did double check it. And household organize and purge. Um, I'm going to cross this one off only because my husband and I did do the basement when he was home. Or no, you know what? I guess that doesn't really count because that was kind of the week before. We did that on, yeah, we did that last week. So starting Monday we never I haven't done anything I meant to do the Tupperware contain like the cupboard I literally have Tupperware falling out of my cupboard and it is driving me crazy I just need a moment's peace to do it like with the kids home my daughter is teething I've been giving her Tylenol she hasn't been sleeping well she never had a nap yesterday and when my daughter doesn't have a nap I don't get a whole lot of work done so it's really difficult right now I know things will get better but it's just been hard so now that we're done that, the next thing to do, so I, I don't write anything on the other side, it's basically just for notes and stuff. Um, next is to do next week's goals. So I guess I'm gonna have to think about this because I wanna, I wanna have goals that challenge me, but I also want to keep it realistic and not necessarily simple, but just realistic, right? Because I don't want to push myself too hard where I get burnout. I'm going to try a different pen. I'm going to try to work with a colored pen on this sheet instead of black. So I'm using, guys, I have so many pens I should really be using. This is my Marvi La Plume 2 brush pen. It's color 87 Pumpkin. Um, I don't use these much because I find they dry out really easy. This one, yeah, see this one's already dried out. Um, I have to go through my brush pen stash. And like actually, I think these, I was going to sell them, but they're, this one doesn't even work. So we'll try a different one here. Let's see. This is butterscotch. Let's see if this one works. This one does. Okay. So we are planning from the 18th to the 24th, I think it is. Hopefully you can see this on camera. It's pretty light. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and plan this, do all of my, my goals here and my roles, and we'll come back and we'll quickly chat about it. So uh, let's just quickly chat about these things. I made it really simple for myself because I don't want to overwhelm it. Um, I don't want to overwhelm myself. So um, I did change things up here so you can see. So physical, instead of doing water on here, I think maybe if I don't pressure myself, I'll just do it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just a mental thing. I'm going to change it to foot exercises because my foot is still killing me. Um, I'm going to try doing like a rolling pin or a water bottle under my foot, rolling it back and forth. Maybe I'll try like three times a day just to see if that helps. Social emotional, I changed it to journal. Mental shadow work. I, I want to say both of those things can be in like mixed up, but mental is, shadow work is a good one for mental. 
Uh, spiritual is meditate. So I do want to try to make some alone time for myself this week and just sit and think about absolutely nothing and just see maybe maybe I can meditate on some ideas or something. Okay, so role as mom, I'm going to have a movie night with my son. We haven't done that in forever. Role of wife is FaceTime a husband. Role of creator, concentrating on my May bullet journal setup, but I also added blogs, stickers, and makeup on here. Role as biz admin, just to check wave because I do have to import those two expenses um, that probably won't transport on their own. And organizer, um, I want to do the Tupperware cupboard at least. And I put bathroom and I put the number three beside it because I have three spots in there that I want to go through and organize. I have this organizer above my toilet. So I <laughs> need to go through that because I have a lot of face creams and hair products and stuff like that in there I want to go through. Then underneath the bathroom cupboard, which is a huge one. And then I have this little white organizer beside the bathtub, which I also want to go through and clean. Um, I also put my son's desk. So <laughs> my son's room is... Oh my gosh, I can't even start. Like, I don't know where to start. It is a wreck. The last time I went through it was last year. Um, my daughter's room is perfect. I don't have to worry about a, hardly a thing. I, I do still have to go through hers as well. But um, my son's room is giving me anxiety. So I'm going to start, I'm going to break it down and do one thing once a week. So I'm going to start with his little desk. Um, it's not really a desk. It's more of like a, a Ninja Turtle table, but he just tons of stuff gets piled on there because it's like a flat surface where between him and my mom, my mom is bad for coming over. My mom likes to shop at Goodwill, so she'll just pick up random stuff and just bring it over to us. And it's really hard when we're trying to clean out and live more minimalist. So no matter, no matter how much I tell her, she does not listen to me. <laughs> um so anyway so I have to go through his little table that's my task for the week and then the last one is role of daughter visit with my mother <laughs> and maybe explain to her again that we don't want stuff from goodwill um the only time that I actually asked her to go and get something for me was we had a really hot summer and like we don't have air conditioner we don't have a built-in air conditioner and um I'd asked her to get some of those fans that fit inside the window, right? So we have normal old, like really old windows. And I asked her to see if she could find some window fans at Goodwill. She did. They were like, they ranged from like 5 to $20 a piece. So it was like a pretty good deal. And like once you clean them up, you make sure they run and stuff and they're fine. But they're perfect because you basically slip them inside the two windows and then that holds the fan in place and then you can just keep both windows open if you want for full airflow and it just keeps our house a lot cooler. Um, the only problem with it is it does bring in a lot of dust and dirt. I have noticed that but uh, we're not at the point where we would get a built-in air conditioner in this house. We'd rather just move <laughs> and for how hot like it I think last summer it got up to 45 degrees celsius which is ridiculously hot um, and everybody was suffering we were actually told to, to not go outside um, because it was so hot. I think at that point, like the UV was like at like nine or something. It was really high. And so it was extremely dangerous to go outside, mostly not even because of sunburn, but because of heat exhaustion. The few days it gets up to that high, high of a heat, it's not that much. Um, the only problem with that is that once it does get to that height, like that, that temperature, our house keeps it like holds the temperature um it'll be that hot in our house for days so that's why we have all the fans all right so i'm going to throw this one out i'm going to keep this one back in my planner and now we need to review personal calendar and the master tasks Alrighty, let's do that so i'm just going to take a look um, i shouldn't have to do this i always look at my feature log um, just, just in case, right? So we're looking at the 18th to the 24th. And I have nothing. <laughs> um, so yeah, so my son doesn't have school Monday. He also doesn't have school Tuesday because it is a PD day. So just professional development for teachers. So it looks like we have nothing. So it'll just be basic, basic stuff. 
So I'll go look at my calendar. Yeah, so no school. I have groceries here, but because he's got no school on Tuesday, I'll probably do um, just the basics, like lunch meat and strawberries and stuff for before Tuesday. So I'll have it for Wednesday. And then Wednesday morning when I drop him off, I'll run and go get like the other stuff, like milk, etc. That is if I even need it because we get paid Thursday and usually I go Thursday to get stuff. So that actually might be a better deal is if I just run and get like basic stuff for Wednesday, like literally like two pieces of lunch meat and then go on Thursday when I get paid because I'll have more money. Um, my husband comes home here on the 26th so the, the big paycheck isn't until the end of the month the 28th but here at least I can get more stuff so and then we have bills of course early dismissal and then it's food waste and recycle on the 22nd and then it's just weekly prep again which is kind of the same every week all right, so for tasks, I don't even know if I got anything done. Let's see. So prep for Easter, I I got the stuff. So I have to do the Easter hunt thing on Sunday. Um, we went to Red Deer. Declutter basement. We had two opportunities to work in our basement. So the first was uh, Wednesday. We got 50% of our basement cleared. And of that 50% of stuff we cleared, I would say a good 70% of it is going to the garage sale. I kept most, well, I kept, I'm keeping all of my Rubbermaid containers. So at one point, I think this was many years ago, I decided that anything I wanted to keep that was going to keep forever, um, like keep, keep, not just like keep for now, but forever. Um, and I'm talking like I'll have a Rubbermaid container for my shoes. So every season I'll have my spring shoes and then I'll put my, my winter boots in there and bring out my spring shoes and then I'll switch them back and forth like that. Um, I also had like all of my extra computer equipment and cords and stuff and another one, like just boxes like that. So I bought Rubbermaid containers from Walmart, probably spent a small fortune in total. Um, I think I have about 20 or 30 Rubbermaid containers, maybe not 30, 20 sounds more realistic. So about 20 of them and they're just literally stacked against a wall with all of my stuff in them, but it keeps them safe. It keeps the mice out because we still have to work on the basement. I can't cross this off yet. We're going to work on it when he comes home next time which is the end of this month. So garage project, I shouldn't even put that on here because we're not doing that until May. Get Jeep fixed. Um, I got the basics done, so I had to get my rear brakes done. And I also got my differentials done and my oil change. And it, between my husband's and my vehicle, it was like over $2,500. Um, we did not expect that. It was unexpected. It was an emergency because my husband needed to go up to work um, that weekend and he drives seven hours you guys like one way it was an emergency to get his vehicle done and then if I don't have a vehicle I can't take my son to school and I can't get groceries so um, both of our vehicles had to be done so we did that I paid for my jeep um, that's not my jeep payment like we've already paid off our vehicles about three years ago so um, it was to pay for the repairs Research garage sale. I never really did that yet. Um, I've talked to other people about it, but I have to see whether, like, how much a permit costs. I need to call the registrar's office. Uh, wash vehicles will be in May, I think, because on the, I was going to do it while my husband was gone, but it's way too cold to do it right now. Like, it's still minus five. It's, it's down to, like, minus 10 this entire week. It's crazy. Um, plan for flowers. I haven't done that yet. And this is all of my organizing stuff, which I haven't touched. So I'll leave that. Um, I haven't followed through with my daily highlights. We're already at the 15th and I haven't done a single thing. Um, but maybe I'll add like when we went to Red Deer and stuff. And today is the 15th, so I'm going to say it's snowed today. <laughs> yeah, it, it's pretty sad. Okay, so then I'm just going to check the weekly as well. Um, so we're, we're also going to fill out this weekly. I haven't filled this stuff out yet, but I want to. So if I have time, maybe we'll do that too. But I'll probably do it like this. And just to kind of see what I have going on. So as you can see, this is all I had going on today. But now I have to add my, uh, my blog. All right. 
Um, and then this is like my decorating week here. So yeah, I still, this is basically just like cleaning stuff I had to do. I did this. And then I paid bills, early dismissal. I took all of that stuff out and I edited my video. Uh, today is my grandma's birthday, so I do have to wish her a happy birthday today. Take out day and garbage, so I did take out the garbage. I took out a whole bunch of recycle stuff from her basement, basically. But yeah, I'll have to get takeout later today. And yeah, so I budgeted for takeout, but I only budgeted $40, so. So that's it. So I don't really have anything to carry over from here. The next week is going to be a basic, pretty basic week because... I'll just have to put like grocery day on like the certain days. So yeah, so I think what we'll do is I'm going to go ahead and start planning out the week. I'm going to do this one first because when I do this, I can kind of plan from this. So I think I'll do this off camera and then I think I'll use this as a brain dump. I'll try to fill this out with you guys since I haven't done the previous ones. And I'm also going to take out both of the weeks here. And I always use my planner the monthly as a guide for the next week and the other thing that I, I want to check that I haven't I'll show you here that I haven't checked is my inbox so I added a whole bunch of things to here and I haven't really checked it off so that one I don't need empty binders so this is another thing I could do oh I did that right okay so there's some things in the basement that like we technically we went through, but there's stuff like binders and stuff that I had, like old school stuff that I have to go through and empty. And I have some that have like just tons of paper in it, which I'll use for my son for when he goes to school. So I'm not sure if I'm going to put that on this week though, because I, I have other stuff that I need to get done. So, oh, and then the other thing too is a business thing. I guess I don't really do business here. Uh, speaking of business planner, so this is kind of like, oh, I know this video is like already crazy long. I don't really talk about business so much, but I'm going to start. So right now I currently have a happy planner set up for all of my business needs, but I'm not entirely happy with it. Um, I do like happy planner for certain things, but you guys, okay, I'm going to drop a sneak here. I'm going to change up my business planner. Um, I'm not going to be using a Franklin planner. I was kind of thinking about using a compact for my business planner, but I changed my mind because I made a purchase from Planners Anonymous. I, If you have ever heard of the Melody Planner, I may, I may have ordered a Melody Planner and it may be on its way. When I get it, I will probably show it on Instagram first. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, go there, go check it out. I will leave my tag and a picture of my Instagram feed for you on the screen. Honestly, I am so in love. I'm so excited to get this planner. It, all it is is a planner cover and it is convertible. So you can change it for different sizes. Technically, it's um, it's a B6 plus is what it's called. Um, they have some classic ones and then they have the B6. And so I've never planned in a B6 planner before. So B6 is a five by seven. I just want to show you what it looks like. Oops. Okay. So, um, okay. This is a simply gilded B6 size notebook. This is a stitch notebook and I have a whole bunch of these, which are going to fit in the planner. So the reason why it's convertible is like, I can't show you right now, obviously, but, um, the reason why it's convertible is because it fits strings. It has a side pocket where you can slip in like a hardcover notebook. So say for instance, you do this and you slip it into the pocket, kind of like uh, Fancy Plants Co, I guess, um, all of her planner covers. And you can slip it in and use a planner with discs on it, like a Happy Planner Mini or something. Um, and then you can also do like, yeah, like you can do a hardcover book. You could do a booklet like this. You could use it as a traveler's notebook because it does come with strings attached, like already attached. But you can also buy the ring um, add-ons, which I did. So it is the kind of, I think it's the same size as the personal um, or the, uh, the compact for Franklin Planner. So it's got like the three and then the three of the rings. And 
but I think so correct me if I'm wrong but doesn't b6 b6 wide and compact which is personal wide wouldn't that I think those rings are the same correct me if I'm wrong but I'm pretty sure they are um so anyway so I have the rings coming and it comes with dividers it comes with a few things so I'm going to show all of that when I get it but um then I went ahead on Planners Anonymous website and I purchased the printable inserts so this one printed upside down because I forgot to put it on it was on landscape when I printed and I forgot to put it on the short edge printing for the layout so it printed upside down you can see here it doesn't really work out but this is the under the stars inserts and it's the lux inserts okay so there's like the basic and then the lux and before how they used to have it was um if you were a subscriber for that kit you would get it i think you were able to access the digital like the basic one for free but then they said you can't access if you don't if you weren't a subscriber for that kit you wouldn't be able to access the inserts at all but now I went on there and you can now they're all available so they're twelve dollars australian and you can print them for your own use however many times you want so i got a few different ones i will show you guys when i do set the planner up but it is going to be my new work planner um, i'm not going to do a flip through of the insert right now even though i really really want to because this is this planner but um I'm excited to show you how I would use it, but it's going to be my social media planner. I'm that excited. Um, and now I was kind of deciding, do I want to do rings or do I want to do disc? And I think I decided to go with disc because I can access the strings that way. And I can use notebooks like this um, in part of it. And then you can also put like little... Um, I'll show you for instance these are from cloth and paper but you can access and put these on the discs as well or sorry the, the strings so all you do is you open this flap and then you slip in on the string and then close it like this and you can keep stickers and stuff in here so i might do that so i'm just really excited about this whole idea um and it's going to be a smaller planner and yeah i'm, I'm not overly happy with my happy planner like the way it is it just i'm not going to get rid of any of my happy planner stuff because i have I have so so much but um like and i'm talking inserts and stuff and like planner covers i kind of set something up so i'll show you what i did this is actually a classic cover that i cut down to size and then i put my own holes in i punched it and then i used these gold rings or gold discs which i had extra from a different planner and then I put in my copy. So this one, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. So like I punched it for rings, but then I was like, no, I want to do disc. So yeah, anyway, then all you do is you take the back of it when I get it and then slip the back into the planner cover. And then you've just got the front of it like this. But anyway, they've got a whole bunch of different inserts. So if you guys are interested, I actually have to cut down the inserts. I printed them all yesterday. I did print them on 32 pound paper. Um, I just switched out my ink and they look gorgeous. So I have to cut them down to size. I have to punch them and then I'll put them in that little happy planner that I made. So I don't really know if that's a happy planner mini, but it, it's basically um, these inserts, like the size of these are exactly B6 wide, okay? Um, and that's what the planner fits is B6 wide. And that's what the um, dividers are coming in as well. So when I use this, um, I cut this just to be a bit bigger than B6 wide. So I cut it, it's my own personal size. <laughs> I didn't, yeah, I cut it down from like a classic planner cover. So that's what I did there. And this kind of matches the planner a little bit. Oh yeah, and then, so this is what I did. So I, I want to add Fancy Plans Co. B6 work inserts because... There's some that I want to get for my social media planner, which is basically my work planner because my work revolves around social media, as you guys know. So I added a whole bunch to my cart last night, so I can probably cross that off. And then I just have to wait, um, wait for my order to come in. And then I'll show you guys, like I'll do a huge setup video and show you how I'm going to use it. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm, I'm so excited for it. Okay, without further ado, let's start planning for this week.
have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're going to be, who you're going to be, who you're going to be. Okay guys, so what I did is I wrote this like list of everything that I could think of and there's probably more stuff. This is not limited to just this week. I know for a fact I wouldn't be able to get all of this work done in one week. So um, it's pretty much going to be like a brain dump and that's what I'll put at the top is a brain dump so I don't get confused. And then what I'll do is use the other weekly to be more specific about my week and go from there. So I did that on this page and then here I just wrote like this schedule that um, I kind of follow, at least I know what I'm doing. And if I had appointments, I would just put those in there as well. I don't have any appointments this week. It's gonna be pretty slow. So hopefully I'll be able to get some, some of these things done here. Um, some of these things I would need Chad for, but I'm gonna start doing like research on the garage sale, um, call the registration place to see if we need a permit. Um, kind of price out how much everything's going to cost. Like we're going to need change. We're going to need, um, like we have tables and stuff already coming, but like we're just going to need a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to do all of that. I do have under my home section here, if you guys are curious, I have these project planning sheets. So I don't know why my daughter's birthday is at the back because that one comes next. But so I've got the basement purge and I decided what we would do. With everything and then I also have garage and cars so that's kind of like all together then I have the garage sale and then I have my daughter's birthday so yeah I liked having those project planning sheets these are from the Teresa Collins collab with Franklin Covey and yeah I really I really like those because it's kind of like you can use them as goal worksheets but I use them as actual projects because we're tackling so many big projects this summer so okay now I'm going to move on to the decorating part of things so again let's fast forward through this
Okay, guys, so I think I'm all done. I think this is so pretty. I'm going to zoom you guys in here. This video is so long, so I do apologize. <laughs> um, I kind of got carried away and was talking like so much, and now it's going to take forever to edit the video. <laughs> but anyway, so um, I don't have a lot going on, so which is why I decided to add some of these stickers for decoration. And I love this yellow with the sunflowers with the bows on it. That's from Simply Gilded. You guys know I love Simply Gilded washi tape. And um, in my head, here I'm thinking, because I'm not sure if you guys checked my Instagram out, but if you do, I do have a post on there. It's a video um, where I just received my Simply Gilded order that I placed on the Mega Mystery Monday. And I ordered the strawberry milk kit, like the sticker kit, and I was going to use that. And then I realized I can't because I'm on this like yellow theme. And then not even like the yellow theme, but like maybe next week considering like next week is the last week of April, I'm kind of out of these like, I guess I still could, I could still use some of those like yellow and orange stickers. So we'll see how it goes. But I was also thinking I could use these ones here, but they're like, obviously a completely different like color scheme. So I don't know how it will go. Um, but these are also in the same sticker book and they're so pretty. They're just not the same color I was using. These look more like a May thing that I might use. Definitely. Um, because you guys, I don't know, I haven't received the shipping notification yet, but I did order the new Anna binders, like the pink ones. I got the compact and the classic, you guys. Oh my goodness. Um, I had to, okay. It was a necessary evil. I had to get them. Um, so I will be switching my binder for May, just so you know, just so we're all aware here. And I'll show you guys how beautiful the binder is. I'll compare it to my black and a binder. Pretty sure it's the same footprint because I did check the exact measurements on the website and it's the exact measurements as the black one. I heard Marsha from Buy, Sell, Plan say that the blue Anna binder was actually a larger footprint than the black one, but I did check the measurements. So I'm pretty sure without actually getting the binder or having it in front of me, I'm pretty sure it's the same as the black one. So anyway, um, I'll show you guys on Instagram when I get it. I'll show you the binder switch. It's going to be exciting. Going back to pink, because you guys know from before this yellow binder that I got, I was in my Teresa Collins blush binder. And I love that one. I do. Um, but I also am really going to love moving into my Anna binder. So the only thing I might have to do, actually, I should add that to my today list. Um, we'll talk about this first. No, we won't, because I'm going to forget. <laughs> This is why I have a planner, you guys. I need to call Franklin and order rings. So, uh, just as a side note, the Anna binder comes in 1.25 rings for the classic, and they come in one inch rings for the um, compact. So the compact, I could probably get away with the one inch rings because I don't carry a lot in there. All I do is I carry my um, my inserts, so they're just monthly inserts. So it kind of gives me an overview of the month. So if I have an appointment and I'm out, I can use that as a reference. But I, um, I need to get the 1.5 for my classic because it just doesn't hold. Like all of the stuff that I value that I need in my planner, it doesn't hold in something less than a 1.5. So that's what I'll have to do today. Um, if they're open. I can't remember if today is a holiday for everybody. It might be. I added quite a few things on this list. Um, probably being uh, way, it's probably way too much for what I can actually handle, but we'll see because I don't really have a whole lot going on in anything else. So like I've put research for the garage sale. I'll call the registrar's office. It doesn't take long at all. A registration office, I guess. Um, organize a few things. Um, planning out for flowers. So basically all I'm doing here is writing a list out of all the flowers. Like I've got certain areas, I've got different pots I could place in different areas. I'm reluctant to put flowers in the ground this year because the chickweed. OMG you guys, it is so bad. It is a weed that if you don't weed it regularly, at least once a week, it takes over your garden and it kills everything in it. So I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just stick with putting flowers in hanging pots and baskets and stuff because I do have a whole bunch of pots and stuff. And I did notice a few of mine broke over winter because 
<clears throat> we obviously keep all that stuff in the garage because we don't have room in the basement. We might going forward, but not yet. Um, and then I'm, I'm excited to also like in May get that garage cleaned out because it hasn't been properly cleaned up for years. So I'm excited to see what we can get rid of and what we can organize. It's going to be a grand time. And yeah, just really excited for that. Um, so I'm writing out supplies for flowers and stuff. Like I need lots of soil. I need to update my soil cactus. I have to change my indoor plant soil as well. So I've got lots of work to do in that. So May is going to be a really busy, hectic month between the cars, between uh, planting, between going to Red Deer, because we're going to Red Deer Victoria long weekend as well, again, from what I have planned so far. And then also my daughter's birthday is May 1st and um, getting the garage cleaned up. So it's going to be a busy month. Um, so I will be getting a few orders. I'm going to cut my planner inserts. Probably do that today, so I don't really know why I put that on here, but uh, just in case. Um, all of the regular stuff, so my blog, stickers, pay bills, budget, um, kind of work on my goals for May. Just kind of write down some ideas, some brainstorming, because I want to be prepared. I want to have everything written down before I actually go in with my power sheets and plan out my month. Um, I, you guys, you guys know I love planning. Okay, so organize my makeup. That is another thing. That is a beast all to itself. So because I'm getting a bigger makeup order this month, I need to kind of go through. I've already gone through and gotten rid of everything that I could give away to people, but I have a few foundations, maybe a few concealers that are on their way out. So I need to look at that and kind of see what I can get rid of there. And my big goal was to just clean the whole shebang. Like I have all of these acrylic organizers. They are so difficult to clean, you guys. I have to basically put them in the shower, hose them off with soap and hot water. I usually use shampoo because it just works easier. I take the hot hose and I just shower them all off, but which means I have to take out all of the makeup. And it takes forever. I can't do it while my daughter's awake because she'll get into it. So again, that's a very time consuming project. So I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I do want to do it this spring. I want to get that done before um, we get too far into the season because it's just, if you don't keep on top of things, they just pile up and pile up. And that is the key to staying organized and tidy. All right, you guys. So I'm happy with this. I think it looks so cute. I'm going to put it back in my planner. So I just wanted to to tell you guys that um, if if you do, like I've mentioned before, if you do want to see um, kind of like a planner flip through of like all the stuff I have, because honestly, I don't do that regular regularly. I should probably, instead of even every quarter, I should be doing a flip through after I switch out my binder, to be honest. Um, so maybe what I could do for you guys, if that's something that you are interested in, I will do a flip through before I switch into my new Anna binder. Um, I'll show you guys what I have in this binder. And when I do eventually set up my work planner, when I get my planners anonymous melody, um, I will be putting all of the work stuff in there. I don't think I want to reference my work in here anymore. So like right now I have a business tab, right? So I go to my business tab and I have all of this information, which kind of like this doesn't really matter. It's just the calendar because obviously April's almost done. It's halfway done um, and I don't have the planner yet anyway. Um, even going forward in May, I might not have the planner yet because it is coming all the way from Australia. So but information like this, I don't know if I need to keep this because it's like all of the blogs in the past that I've already put in. I like keeping it. Oh, my daughter's awake now. I do like keeping this because um, I can see what I've done in the past. And I know um, that I can kind of plan my content around here. So I, I kind of do it like I do on YouTube, to be honest. So if there is a video that is like outstanding and it gets so many views I'll do more content similar to that right um, different but similar and the same thing goes for my blogs so right now I have a blog I'm not sure if you guys want to check it out but it is on my website I'll leave a link for it down below it is called uh, why I switched from a bullet journal to a Franklin Covey planning system that blog blew up 
on Medium. Uh, Medium is a platform I transfer my blogs to. To Originally, it was to get paid, but then they changed it from uh, you have to have 100 followers now before you can enter into their partner program. So anyway, I <laughs> that that blog, like so many people have read that blog. And um, that's all it takes is one video or one blog to go viral. And people can see you, people um, know who you are now. So that's all it takes. But anyway, I keep this list to know what I've done in the past. So I'm probably going to have to transfer this information down to a B6 size. So either I'll just like keep it like a fold it up and keep it in the back of my planner or maybe I'll just rewrite everything. I don't know yet, but um, I'm going to have to get some note paper as well from um, I think I'm I'm looking at for B6 size stuff. I'm looking at Fancy Plants Co. Because I don't think cloth and paper has B6. Correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe they do. Ah, oh, but uh, there's in special inserts I do want from Fancy Plants Co. So we'll see going forward. I know the last time I received an order, I had to pay for um, customs, like the taxes and stuff, and it was a lot. So we will see how it goes. Uh, but that is it for me, my friends. I'm just going to pop my task card back into my planner. And uh, yeah, so let me know what you thought of this type of video. I know I talked your ear off. I talked a lot more than I usually do. Um, I like videos like this myself where um, the people that, you know, are planning, they talk about their planner instead of just like writing stuff down. So let me know in the comments below what you want to see. Let me know if you're interested in seeing a complete flip through um, because I will do that for you if you want one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I would love for you to join our family here on YouTube. Share the video if you know someone else who would love to watch this video. Click on the bell button to be notified every time I upload new videos. And we will see you guys next week. We're going to have lots of exciting content coming up in the future. So we'll talk to you guys then. Bye, friends.